I'm Larry Walther, and this is PrinciplesOfAccounting.com, Chapter 3. Uh, this chapter focuses on income measurement, and we'll begin our discussion in this module by considering the nature of transactions and events that trigger measurement within the accounting system. Let's begin by thinking about concepts of income. The economic concept of income is a sense of better offness or an increase in command over goods and services. This might arise from delivering goods and services to customers, but it also can arise simply from good fortune by holding the right assets at the right time as they increase in value. Accounting historically has taken a different view of income. It's tied to transactions and events. Uh, those transaction and events are usually recorded and measured based on the cost of the transaction. Income is thought of as revenues minus expenses by reference to those transactions and events that are recorded. Now clearly there are many exceptions and you will be learning about those exceptions as you progress in your study of accounting. Furthering our consideration of this, let's think about some definitions. First of all, revenues, a concept you're already familiar with, relates to the inflows or enhancements from delivery of goods and services attributable to ongoing or central operations of a business. Very similar to revenues are gains. They have a similar effect on the company. It's just that gains arise from peripheral or incidental transactions and events rather than our central ongoing operations. Uh, expenses are simply the opposite. They're the outflows and obligations arising from the production of goods and services that constitute central ongoing operations. And like expenses, losses also cause outflows or give rise to obligations, but they also are attributable to peripheral or incidental transactions or events. So expenses and losses are similar. Uh, revenues and gains are similar. On balance, when we consider all of these, we see that income is the result of taking revenues minus expenses plus gains minus losses. Accounting income typically focuses on recording transactions and events that are exchange-based. There are some items, however, that are recorded even though there is not an identifiable exchange transaction, such as adjusting a, a particular asset to fair value, perhaps uh, say if we have a loss due to a storm or something like that that diminishes the value of a facility, uh, we would write that off even though there's not a particular exchange-based transaction.